Hey, it's Ray. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate Rihanna's Grammy look. Um, but unfortunately, I forgot to record an intro. So here's just some footage of me acting a fool that you can enjoy uh, before the video starts. So I'm going to be priming my face with my Benefit Professional Primer. I guess since I'm doing a Rihanna look, I probably should have used Fenty Beauty, but I can't find it right now, so... So I'm gonna set my primer as usual with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Loose Powder. Okay, so I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Foundation. I haven't used it in a long time because I definitely got the wrong shade. Like you can see the two compared. This is my Too Faced one. This is my Born This Way one, which you can, like they're the same kind of bottle, so you can see that they are, they're not even that far off, but they're definitely different. See that? Oh, dang. Yeah, on my hand, you can definitely tell that this is not the right color. I was wearing this. I don't know where I thought I was going wearing this, but I was wearing it. And it's the wrong color, but whatever. I'll do it for Riri. Anyway, so I'm just gonna take it on a sponge and hope for the best. I don't even know why this is the color that I picked. Like, what was I? I was definitely rushing because I was supposed to be at work, but I went to the mall instead. I just feel like it looks so dark. Hold on, let me adjust my camera. Okay. It's a little better, but also, it's still like just, it's still not the right color, but we're already in here like swimwear, so might as well keep it going. I never realized how orange this foundation was either. I feel like I used this foundation in a few videos. It's okay, we'll fix it. Oh. Usually I would fix it with my Shape Tape concealer, but since they've been canceled, I had to go back to my old, old faithful LA Girl Pro Conceal. It has been a minute since we used a little Pro Conceal. I also forgot how, how medium coverage this foundation is. Medium to light, honestly. But it's okay. Look at these two different people. I'm gonna go change this shirt because there's just so much, there's so much of my body showing and it's just so obvious. I'll be right back. This isn't any better. <laughs> look at this. I bet this is what I looked like in the summertime. Back in the day when I was tan, but I'm not tan anymore. But some days I said I wish that I was tan again. Now I'm going to conceal with my LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the color Warm Honey. It has honestly been so long since I've used Pro Conceal. I've just been using my Fenty. Well, I was actually I was using Shape Tape. It makes me so mad that they're so ignorant because I really love that concealer. But I've also been hearing a lot about that Makeup Revolution one, so I'm probably gonna get that and make a video talking about it. For those of you who, like me, don't see it for shape tape anymore. All right, let's blend this out. We just gotta lighten the rest of my face up a little bit. I haven't worn concealer this bright in a really long time. But I think that's also just because my foundation was brighter, so. I don't know, whatever. I can't tell. Honestly, I can't tell, so. Oh! Oh! Oh, my head it is killing me. This, I bought these wig caps from Sally's. And I know that I have a huge head. That's something that I know. It's not anything that's ever gonna go away. But sometimes I just forget how huge my head is because these wig caps that I bought, I had to cut this one up the back just real quick. It's so tight. I have, and I still have a headache even though 
I cut it up the back. It's just so small and I don't understand whose head. Who did they think was, I guess a regular sized person's head. But my head, it's a family trait, you know. Our heads are just huge. It's not fair because my mom's side of the family, you saw my mom in that video, she has a little head. But me and my sister, you saw both of our craniums. I feel like my makeup is not really blending out that well. It could just be me because I'm not actually looking in a real mirror. That this feels a little, a little patchy. I'm gonna put a little Fenty on top just cause you know, I'm loyal. So I'm pretty sure Rihanna is wearing all Fenty Beauty in this picture. Like I bet you she has, what's it called? Unicorn that match sticks on her eyelids. I don't have that though, so I might have to improvise. I didn't say it, but um, I'm obviously using my match sticks in the shade Truffle. Um, I'm just going to set that with my Sasha Buttercup powder. I am never gonna be done with this powder. And I've spilled so much of it, and I still have so much left over. But I really do wanna get a new one because, like you can see, this one is so yellow. And I, I like to be yellow, but I feel like not this yellow. I would like a little more pale yellow. Oh, there it is. You got some purples. I don't know what lip that is. It's probably a Mademoiselle, which I did not buy. Okay, well, I'm gonna start with the, one of these colors out of the Sweet Peach palette by Too Faced. I think I'm gonna start with this one, Peach Pit and just use that in my crease. This is gonna be an experiment, obviously, because I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going with this. I've been watching The Real Husbands of Hollywood. That show was funny. Also, it lasted way longer than I thought it would. This is also not coming out the way I thought it would. Um, so I'm gonna take next the color Delectable from this palette. It's the really, really purple one. Oh, oh, so this is dark. That's what we do now, okay. I mean, this is pretty. We may be doing a different look with this one day, but that's not the look we're going for right now, but I started, so I have to do it on the other eye. I have another purple in mind. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna take this top purple, the top left one. All right, so I'm gonna like apply this basically also in my crease because that dark purple, it's a little dark. I just need to lighten it up a little bit. So now I'm gonna take this color, which is a very frosty purple, and I'm going to spray my brush. I hope this is pigmented. And this I'm gonna place all over my lid. Okay, that's better. This is actually pretty. Okay, this is cute. Okay, BH Cosmetics. Let me take another look at my reference. I have to look down and give myself only one chin. Do we resemble now? Okay, good enough. So I'm gonna go back into the first purple that I took, this one. Um, and I'm going to just blend out the top of the shadow that I just placed here. Because looking at the picture, there really doesn't look to be much dark color, just a lot of purple. Okay, I feel like that's good enough. I'm gonna brush this away. Okay, I think the eyes are done. It doesn't look like she has any eyeliner on, which is fine. 
So now we're gonna move on to lashes. Um, I'm gonna just give mine a quick little coat here. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Hydrofuge in the color black. I'm gonna take these lashes. These are the Ardell Demi Wispies. Malcolm X, you are making noise down there. And I am trying to record. Yes, our dog is actually named after Malcolm X. My sister named him Malcolm because he's a strong black man. And that was her exact reasoning when she named him. So his name is Malcolm X. Okay, so while my lashes are drying, I'm going to take a little bit of bronzer here. This is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in dark chocolate, which, dark chocolate? Okay. Okay. Clearly you've never seen dark chocolate. That's fine. And I'm just gonna warm up my cheeks a little. I'm not really sure what's going on with her lips, so I'm gonna try. First, I'm gonna do a little bit of liner. This is my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the color Downtown Beauty. I've been calling it Club Hopper a lot, but it's in the color Downtown Beauty. And for my actual color, I'm gonna be using this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the color Nine to Five. It's kind of metallic-y, I really like it, it's pretty. And I feel like this is kind of what her lips look. Oh, maybe not. I don't know, we'll see, I'll check. I'm gonna highlight with my old face, old faceful. Well, hey, it's going on my face, so. With my old faithful Hustler Baby. Better zhuzh the hair. Cause her hair at the Grammys was impeccable. My hair isn't gonna get that big. This I know. Don't look at don't look at what's happening under the curtain. Okay, I messed up my wig and now I just have to make it work. I think this is it. I think we're done, guys. I think this is my final form. Let me double check the picture. This is she's just looking down in this picture. So did I do it? Is the question. I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. I think I did the best that I could with what I had, even though I wasn't wearing silver or anything like that. It's okay. I like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, you know, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.